Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here. So in today's tutorial, we're learning how to tie the Tomahawk Sinnet paracord bracelet. That is this pattern here. So I learned this method from JD Lenzen of tying it all together. I'm sure most of you are familiar with his channel, but I will link it down below, of course, if, you're, uh, if you haven't been there already. So this is a really nice weave. It has this sort of uh, outer coloration like uh, one color on the outside with this sort of zigzag accent in the middle really really nice and this is the uh, knot and loop closure there is a way to do this with buckles uh, I believe Mr. Coop has a tutorial on that so you can go check out his video on that however um, by doing this with buckles it does end up a lot thicker and this bracelet is already quite thick so I figured I'd just do my interpretation of the knot and loop tutorial all right, and this one is a bit more confusing, so I think it is helpful for me to talk you through this one. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys will like it. And this is the first example I made with the uh, forest green, or the emerald green, and the imperial red. Really, really nice. I like this one, guys. I think you will too. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I got my paracord ready. I've got two lengths of paracord. Uh, this one up top, the gray, is six and a half feet, and the red is four and a half feet. So you're going to have one longer and one shorter. So as you can tell just by this design, the shorter cord is going to be your inner accent color, and your longer cord is going to be your uh, outer color, or the color that makes up the uh, knot and loop. That's kind of an easy way to think about it. Okay, so as you can see, for this one, uh, because I'm using a longer cord, I'm going to have gray on the outside and red as the accent. Okay, so that's that. Now, oh, and also I'm doing a bracelet that's about. Okay, so I got my paracord ready. Got two lengths here. The gray, the longer one, is six and a half feet. The red, the shorter one, is four and a half feet. I'm doing a bracelet that's about nine inches long, just from the tip of the uh, loop here to the end of the knot. And as for figuring out which is which, your longer cord is going to be the color that's on the outside here. Okay, so the knot and uh, the knot and loop color is going to be your longer cord, and the accent color, the color that, that's on the inside, that's your shorter cord. So you can tell for this version, I'm going to have gray on the outside and red on the inside. Okay, I think that's going to look pretty great. All right. So I'm going to start off with our long cord on top, and then we're going to do a loop behind like this and then from here you're going to make sure this strand comes underneath the red and then you're going to make a loop and put it through this cord here or this loop here so this is forming the kind of slip knot base for the uh, loop part of the knot and loop and you're starting from the middle cords, if that wasn't obvious, but you normally are anyways. Okay, so I'm going to firm this up now. I'm going to cinch that tight, like this. And then at this point, you can adjust your size of your loop. You're going to have to be careful when working with this one, because it can, if you tug on these cords, it will shrink your loop, uh, loop here, so be careful. Okay, so now that we've got our loop set up, we can start the main weave. Okay, so from this point we can start the main weave. So you're looking at your you know slip knot loop like this. All you're gonna do is rotate it this way, and then with your accent color cord, you're gonna kind of just put it to the side like that. So you'll have this cord kind of running this way and this one going this way. So the easiest way to think of this weave, because um, it is a little confusing, is that it's really just a series of slip knots with these uh, accent colors kind of laying over them. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So the first way we start it off, I'm gonna take the strand on the right, you're gonna do a loop like this, okay? So make sure the strand is behind, not in front. And then from here, now that you have your loop on the right side, you're gonna take your strand, gray strand on the left, and you're gonna put this through here and with an, like another loop. So it's one loop going through the other, and then you're gonna cinch this one closed, like that. 
Okay. And this will be a little finicky at first, but uh, just do the best you can. Okay, now from here, we can start incorporating our accent color. So now you're always going to look to the right of your loop here. So first you're going to take the red strand on the bottom, or whichever accent color you're using, you're going to lay it over top these two slip knots where they kind of meet. And then from behind, from behind, I'm taking the accent color from behind, I'm going to lay that in front like this. Put those all to one side like that. So this is where you should be now. Okay. So now what we're going to do next, because this loop is ready to be cinched closed, we're going to take the other side, put a loop through like this. Okay. And then we're going to pull this one shut. Okay. And I apologize if my thumbs get in the way briefly, but it's going to happen. Okay. So now that you pulled that one shut, you see how there's some excess in here? Actually, you want to keep the strand on that side. So keep this strand on away from you. Okay. It just makes it a little more less confusing. I'm not sure if that actually matters, but anyways, that's what I've been doing. Okay. So now you want to tug on this strand to tighten it up. As you can see here, like that. That'll make your weave look better. And then also you want to tug on each of these uh, accent color strands. I want to pull this one this way and pull this one towards you. Okay? So that's the first knot. I know that's a little confusing, but again, just, uh, you know, watch it a few times if you have to. Okay. So now, now that we've done that, we're going to rotate our piece. Uh to the right, I guess you can say, so that our strands will always be going over on this side just to make it less confusing. So remember how uh, we're back kind of where we started now with one loop through the other. And then we're going to take again our red strand, put it over the front, going from front to back, and then this one from back to front, like that. Okay, we'll put that to one side. So, again, here's where you should be. So, again, repeat, same thing. Make a loop, put it through your slip knot, and pull it shut like that. And I'm gonna keep mine away from me for consistency, like that. And then pull this one closed again. I tugged on this side to make this one smaller. And again, you want to tug on your kind of accent colors. See how I'm, it's creating a little gap in there? Right there. You want to pull on this one to close that up and then pull on this one to make it really tight. This is one of those knots where you're gonna to have to tug on all the strands with each successive knot just to make it look good. It's just the way it is, okay? So now, now that we did that, we've done two knots now. Again, same thing. Turn it to the right. Go a bit faster this time. So front to back, back to front, like this, and then strand on the right. And again, remember I said to keep this, because it doesn't really matter which direction, keep it flat, that we all know which side to go through. Okay, so put that one through there, pull this one shut, like that, and then pull that, this strand here, Pull your accents. See again, created more space. I'm gonna tug on that one. Tug on that one. See? Now our tomahawks in it starting to form. And uh, this one may again require a little bit more practice. As I mentioned earlier, this knot is kind of intermediate to advanced. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep continue weaving my bracelet with these uh you know series of slip knots and then when I have enough bracelet I'll show you guys how to finish it off. Okay so I'm done weaving my main part of my sinnet so that's done. Now to finish it off what you're gonna do is 
you're gonna stop at the point where you're about to, you know, lay your strands over again. You're not gonna do that. So you're gonna kind of move those out of the way. Now, with your last slip knot in place, what you're gonna do is you take the strand on the right, put it through the loop, like this. Then you take the strand on the left and do the same. Put that through. Doesn't really matter which one's on top of which. So now, what you're gonna do is first cinch this loop shut slowly and move a bit of this one out and you're just going to pull all the excess through while closing in this loop okay so I'm going to pull this one as tight as I can close that one up like this and then this last one goes through like that okay so that was quite simple I just put both strands through the last slip knot and then close it on itself so now, as you can see, we've got two strands here. We can tie our two-strand diamond knot, and these two excess pieces we can just clip off and snip and singe the ends right there. So I'm just going to quickly go through the two-strand diamond knot, and of course, uh, I will annotate my full tutorial on that, just because I don't need to necessarily teach this every time. Okay, so loop over that strand, over, under, over, have our care expend, and then back and behind, and through and behind. Okay, so I know that was super quick, but of course, as always, I will annotate the full tutorial for this knot at the end as well as in the description. Okay, so we have our diamond knot tied, and now I'm just going to actually move it and cinch it down. To where it needs to be then I will snip and singe off the excess of all this and we'll be finished all right and there we have it guys I'm finished all right so got the excess trimmed off there snipped and singed nicely on both sides and the stopper knot is done as well and again here's one last close-up look at the weave, at the weave itself it's the tomahawk sinnet originally done by JD lens of tying it all together and this is just my interpretation of his tutorial. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And hope you guys give this one a shot. I think this is a really nice weave. Really attractive pattern on it. So I hope I've explained everything clearly and concisely. If you guys have any issues or you know problems or questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out and get back to you as soon as I can. And if you guys haven't already, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll be more than happy to have you as a subscriber and to share more tutorials with you. Okay, so that's about it guys. I'll see you next time on the next tutorial.